Hello everyone, my name is Lasso and we are watching my space engineer's place through the book hunt. Say hi Oracle. Good morning. If everything goes well this will be episode 6 that you are watching and I was trying to do some expansion to our base ship. I've not done much work yet but I thought I will switch on the recording and let me show you what I did so far. Not much. <laughs> I've only added a couple of frames. I was expanding the ship to look like a, a, a bit of a ship shape. I will need to rearrange the thrusters as well. But what I did so far was install a large cargo container and piped it up and pulled all the small cargo containers into this one. So now all our materials are in this large cargo container. This can be a bit uh, risky no energy. because if this cargo container is damaged then we will have no access to our items. So what I will do next is that I will try to add some armoring on top of it. But we are now facing with another problem. Our uranium that we had in our small reactor which is down here is depleting rapidly. We have 0 0.23 kilograms left and after that we are all out of uranium. Natural source of it would be out in the asteroid field, I think. But we will not go there for a little bit longer. And we will need energy to operate all our equipment, the refinery, the O2 generators, the turrets. If an asset base would spawn right next to us right now, we would be a very bit uh, in a trouble, in a very bad spot because we would have no power to stop them and they would probably shoot everything in our base. So the next critical thing that I will need to do in this episode is to install a couple of well, maybe batteries and way to recharge them. Since this is a mobile base it will probably be solar power. It's quite weak but that's all we can do at the moment. Batteries and solar power. As soon as we will have our hands on uranium we can restart our reactor. And in the previous episode I even forgot to mention that I started building another small reactor behind this door. This was previously the uh, the place where the control seat was situated. But since we replaced it and put it up in the tower, we had an empty room here, so I decided to put a reactor here. This is the new version the industrial um, small warfare reactor so that's good and I think we have access to it from up here behind the tower so I will be able to add uranium here or I will be able to pipe it from down as well I just need to find the correct spot for it <laughs> but yeah that's in uh, on the list for us in this episode. It will be a bit of a time lapse until I manage to sort out some of these issues, like the batteries, and and I build a bit more into this ship. Oh, it's getting very dark very soon. 
once we are a bit better shape in terms of defenses, storage, battery, and the like, I will feel comfortable to start working on our small uh, forklift and lift the AI out and put it on our ship. Right now, even if I would be able to move the AI out, I would have no place for it yet. So I will build something here and I will make sure that the AI have a good place somewhere here on the front controlling our ship. It will be great. It will be great. Let me skip ahead. A little bit of time left now. See you in a second.
Right. So, I think our <coughs> energy. Oh. I'm just about to tell that our, our situation has been resolved when I ran out of power. That's me. Eek, that's on me. So, I was wanting to say that uh, our power situation will be resolved, I think. At least until we can get ourselves some uranium. I installed four large batteries down under the ship. And I also added, added sizable solar panels to both sides of the ship. So when the sun will be up, this will be hopefully enough to charge our batteries. But we will see. The next step will be to rearrange this a little bit and make my second tank here so I can finally claim this whole ship. I will not finish that part of the ship just yet. After I finished with rearranging this section, I will let like four or six more turrets here. That should be enough to cover everything and anything that the asserts can throw at us. But it's getting late, so I will uh, award myself uh, a little bit of a break. I'll be back after that and continue my work on the new ship and on freeing the AI. See you in a second. Alrighty, I'm back from resting and the base is still in one piece. Actually, while I was out, the game was paused, so that's not a surprise. <laughs> anyway, let me get back to working on the ship. Don't forget my connection points, engineer. I will slow the time lapse when I have something interesting to show or talk about. Around. Luckily they have not found us, because I know for sure they go for the antenna and ours is still not repaired. But look at that, two reverse actually, an invader and the slayer. Oof. We are so lucky that we are not broadcasting this signal. If they would catch us now, that would be disastrous. The Reavers are the scourge of the universe. I suggest avoid confrontation with them whenever possible. Yeah, I'm trying to. Touch dry land, how happy I did feel. Been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but I never had to up at all. 
coming around the river bank where the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. Tomorrow, reckon I don't know where I'll be. But if it wasn't for that old sheriff, I'd be back in Tennessee. Playing cards and crap games, not looking for the score. And if I ever get back home again, I'll never own no Time boys, listen to my song. May not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard so you can see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, keep quiet and sit on it. So now directly connected. We should have no issue. So there was some interruption in the pipeline. That's why actually why I wanted to redesign that section. So that tank now has no hydrogen in it. Therefore we can do the glorious thing and take it into our procession. And this officially marks the last item that we didn't own on this base. It's barely recognizable anymore. I was thinking about I think it's time so it will be symmetrical. But that would mean I don't need to move a lot of things. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's make it symmetrical. Then I can sort out this mess here. Things are connected. I hope. <laughs> and they are symmetrical, so it will not throw off our balance. Now, what I need to do is tidy up under the ship. There was one row of conveyors that have not been completed yet. And I will probably do something with these because it, it's a mess <laughs> and I don't really like this mess that I don't know what is connected where. I know everything is connected through the oxygen tank down there and it's connected but I still can't reach stuff occasionally so I want to make sure that I know exactly where things are connected. I like this little yard and the tent here, so I will probably keep that. Later on, since I can actually make trees, I was planning to leave this planet by taking some souvenir trees, 
maybe not by moving it because they are in a voxel, but I have the ability to to basically create trees. <laughs> maybe not this one, but a, a smaller tree. Like, a, like this. I should be able to just plant one right in the middle of my ship. <laughs> it would be fun to fly around if I can actually place it. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> I can place it in the middle of my ship. Look at that. How cool that would be. To have a living ship. I will probably need to add some sort of a, a protection around it, like a glass dome. But I, but I really like this idea. <laughs> I just need to work around it a bit, so... Not right now. Maybe before we will leave. I like the idea, Engineer. Traveling with a tree would be marvelous. But you have some other tasks to sort out first. Awesome is we have to redesign the thrusters probably. Since we have two large hydrogen tanks, I don't think I will need the atmospheric thrusters, no matter how efficient they are. I will just stick with hydrogen for the time being. I like the location of this one, but uh, I might need to do some redesign. I definitely want to keep the thruster above the bottom of the ship, so in case we would have a, a, a damage coming from below, like I would crash into the ground, then at least the thruster would not be the first thing to go. I will probably need to build a small welding ship because no way in hell that I will weld all these by hand. Yeah. Contain. Alright, so we have a lot of free space now. Yeah, I'm gonna put back everything nearly as it was. Maybe with some modifications and different piping. I want to make sure that whatever I put here will be piped up. I will probably need to change this to a junction. And then put like an assembler here with face facing upwards. Like this, the point that everything. 
I also wanted to have the O2 generator having a port outside that I can access for quickly dropping in and out stuff. Anyway, I can probably solve it regardless. I might even need more than one or two generators to make sure that we function. I start mining some ice and fill out these tanks again. Yeah, let's let's do that another. I have my port of direct connection to an O2. I could Now that I build it, I realize I don't actually need it. <laughs> <laughs> the direct connector because I can now that I own the hydrogen tanks I will be able to just throw the bottles in here and refill them so anyway I have one here for if I need
I could probably just junction this up, but I'm thinking a bit about having something useful between these. But I can't think of anything right now that would be useful. Don't really need more than one refinery. More than two or two tanks, more than one assembler. At the moment there isn't anything more useful than just junctioning it. And then maybe eventually we can put something there if we need. More space was never a problem. Everything is connected. And I know where they are connected at. <laughs> we had a small reactor, but we moved it there under that. What we don't have right now is a way to connect our ship. To be honest, these two large batteries are kind of in the way of our space. So I might just grind them and put them somewhere else. Would be easier to just match block them, right? Oh shit! That was absolutely terrible. I thought the extra blocks will stop it here. Well, I hope you don't follow this channel for tips on how to do things in Space Engineers. Because boys and girls, this ain't it. <laughs> this is not how you're supposed to do things. Oh hey, actually I like this design from afar. Look at that. Nothing more. I'm sure what you want. Alright, so look at that. I like the general shape. Not the best, but it's okay, I guess. Hmm. What I wanted to do is basically drive out. Something for the thrusters. Because right now they are not connected anywhere. I like the idea of having a connector and a drill here. I might leave it as it is. Yeah. This could never work. <laughs> I need to make it one piston less. That should be still enough to gather ice and everything. I know, it's sidetrack number N plus 10,000.
section I will need to add two timer blocks in order to automate this fully. One will be lowering the pistons at intervals of let's say 30 seconds. to make a, a mosquito and attach it here so in case something like the asset base will spawn again I will not need to have just one vehicle which is leaning forward <laughs> Oh yeah, I wanted to make a connector for that. Where should I make it? Considering the size of the vehicle ID, Wasp Mark II, modifying the conveyor block in the refinery would do sufficiently. Yeah, actually, make it here. If I change this, the conveyor. for this to dock, I think. Let's see. Engine's on. Trust is on. Oh shit, what do I do? <laughs> I did the press 3. So our landing gear is not locked. Instead, I shoot a hole in my base. Well done, Laszlo. You're an expert space engineer. Shooting your own leg. Shoot a hole on it. Ah, that's alright. It's just one tiny hole. And the connector. Yellow as a reminder. Alright, so that is sorted out. Everything is looking great. 
I have some real I'm feeling up the Thanks in all the to be on stockpile. So I actually see the progress. This one is connected. And you actually feel up as well. I made a drill. Which is slowly but surely going down. I think What is it? Alright, so the action is that it will increase real piston maximum Systems. This one. And it is not repeating, I think. I wasn't it? Delay is that thing. Uh, I know I did this before. I need another timer block. I know I did it with two timer blocks. This block. You need to trigger this block in every third second, thirty one seconds. When I can make thirty one, so to do is okay. And you start now. After 30 seconds, you trigger the first one. Uh, maybe that's not it. I don't feel the logic. I do want to make sure that this is automatically pushing it down. Oh yeah, I know what I need to do. In the end of this one, set up actions. When you finish pushing this down, your second action will be bigger timer block. One. And now two timer blocks should work in tandem. This will decrease the, increase the piston maximum height and at the end of 30 seconds it will trigger the first block which will, I think it will do need to be like 2 seconds, it doesn't matter and the end of that it will trigger this block again so it will work one after another increase piston distance Start over this block. Increase distance, trigger this block, start this block again. So this 
Now I will go to the maximum distance of all the pistons in every 30 seconds. Connect the turrets, clean up. Yeah, connect with the turrets, that's, that's good. Just wanna cover this one as well and build another turret on top of this. I also started ending up uh, these here. These are conveyors for this side, and I might be able to add the turret here to, on the side. So that should be able to cover this side if anything comes up. I put it right here around the front. Like instead of this block, I will make it a T block. Large armored T block. Yeah. So everything will still be connected, and this one will have an output here for another turret. I will make it so in the other side too and that will make along with the turret on top of the second tank three additional turrets we will be unstoppable I might even be able to switch on my antenna after that carefully <laughs> but I do want to play with antenna on so we will have a lot of things spawning once we have enough defenses to defend ourselves because I don't tend to mine as much as salvage and remake I will probably need to set like two turrets like gatling turrets for propulsion shooting and the rest of the turrets to be weapon shooting. And we will see how it will work once we manage to put something down. <laughs> Just notice the large thrusters build state model seems a bit wonky. Probably they just this part here, which is coming out a little bit, makes the whole thing look like it is twisted in one direction. Even though I look at it from straight ahead, you see there is a definite lean here, here and I guess in other parts as well. Probably it was twisted in one way or moved. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter in the final thruster, it's just a small game dev stuff. It went. Okay, this is a decorative block. And I've never actually seen any, so we try. <laughs> okay. Increase the light radius. It's basically a light or a dependency. I wish I knew what that was. It says offset or dependency. I have no idea. Leave it at default. We might be able to see it this time.
Yeah. Look at that. It's a nice ship. Maybe one day our base will look like that too. It has so many complex parts in it. And if we would be able to capture that, I'm pretty sure we would be set with uranium for the foreseeable future. We could convert all our vehicles to uranium with whatever is on that ship. Unfortunately, we are not able to reach it. Not even by far. Oh yeah. That's what I was afraid of. That was the whole thing that held up the... <laughs> the stairs. It's alright, I can reveal this. Form. Only that. This doesn't look like apple at all. This one, small tree. I actually prefer that. We have apples. Look at them apples. <laughs> Whatever that would mean. Oh, I think we are just right at the edge of <laughs> what we need in full daylight because it says now it's recharging. But it says minus 24 hours. So this is just, this must be the exact size of everything not to lose power. I'm okay with that for the moment because we don't have anything else. And I did not plan for anything else. All we need right now is finish the thrusters on the other side. Then I will be okay with the shape of the ship. Then we rescue the AI and add it to our front side of the ship and I will finish the front side of the ship. I'm not sure what exactly I will plan to do in this hole. Maybe some sort of a crane and a small vehicle to release it from. I wanted to add some decorative blocks to the bottom so it will not look so flat. And I wanted to... Well, let me take it over. I don't actually remove the sideways, backwards, forwards atmospheric thrusters just yet. We are 1.5 million kilos. So I think we are even above what these two downwards thrusters can lift. So I, the thing I might need to do in this hole is to add another hydrogen thruster straight under this section. Because if you remember, I showed you the chart in previous episodes where we are calculating how much a thruster can lift and I think one large hydrogen thruster can lift up to around 700,000 so we are just beyond what these two thrusters can lift and this section is not even lifted up yet so we will definitely need a third large thruster facing downwards I need to be extra careful about leaning forward, backwards or any other direction because this will be good for hovering 
not so much for uh, doing maneuvers in Earth's gravity. Anyway, back to business. Anyway, let's hold back all the stuff and maybe do another round. Oh yeah, look at our power consumption, 40%, as long as we have fuel in our tanks that will not drop, but I do wanna check what happens if we do lose fuel, just in case of, you know, to know how worried we should be, maybe I just go down a little bit. So we are close to ground, not moving. I switch off the engines. So they are not actually using tanks to generate power. And our power usage is 50%, let's say 60, with multiple vectors of movement. That's actually not that bad, so I guess. As long as we have batteries, we have flight and when we have the engines running and using the hydrogen to generate power, we are not really passing 50%. Alright, so this is good. What is not good is our braking power. <laughs> I will not do another move without adding two more thrusters because this is pathetic yeah nice and easy like a glove Alright, let's see how our tanks are doing. Alright, so this is 100%. Alright, so the ice that we had in the O2 generators were actually enough to supply the hydrogen engines on our small trip. We have not used any of our hydrogen from the tanks. It's actually quite efficient, I like it. Let's fix our braking power situation. Thrusters added. And my thruster group is still low, so let me just wasp thrusters and make sure that these two a new one is added to the group. Engine on thruster on connector of Alright. This part I know well, this is quick and good. Now we are accelerating to 100. It 
see how fast we will stop. I release it. And it's one, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10 seconds roughly. Significantly better than before. This is what I wanted. Uh, an all purpose vehicle that we can use as a respawn hub to haul stuff. It will be good with energy. And it will be efficient and stable. For the sake of that, I think I forget one thing to actually blueprint this. Alright, so engines off, thrusters off, and control B, Wasp Mark II. Dash one. Alrighty, so this is blueprinted. If you ever need to make another one, this is this will be a version that I'm actually quite happy with. You can just do a projector and and pull it out. And by pulling out, of course I mean pulling it out with a, a piston while the projector and the welding wall or welding apparatus is welding it up. If you're not familiar with how projections and, and building ships with projectors in space engineers work, then stay tuned because I plan to build at least a small projector where I can build out smaller ships as I need. I wanted to get at least two mosquito-like ships that I can just jump into and immediately shoot whatever is around us. And maybe one more of the boss. Maybe with another variant, because this is an attack and exploration variant, maybe we can do something like uh, a utility variant with a with a fork. So maybe we can actually make a, another one of these, but with forklift at the beginning instead of thrusters. Uh, I might need to add some variation to this because this would be, I think, okay for bringing out the AI block. But I will need to modify it a little bit. Right now the two batteries are in the middle bottom. I will definitely need to remove all the thrusters. Yeah, this could work. This is actually less than... If you remove the thrusters from it, I think it's less than two blocks to the side. We can work with this, I think. But yeah, rescuing the AI will be a, another strange attempt with chances of failure at a maximum. I'm looking forward to see your solution, engineer.
full. Inventory full. Oh my, look at that. This refinery was loaded with stuff. Right there. Wonder if it is active still. Oh shit, it's active. <laughs> I almost got myself shot. Actually, see any more batteries here? So I have no idea what those, what that, what that turret uh, is powered with. But I'm sure as hell I will not be able to move around it. Right? The school of lies. Oh. And back again. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but it was not the right action. I think I managed to blow some blocks up and that one killed me. Oh no, it was the freaking turret. Oh, it just had a line of sight on us. Alright, now we know. Thank my foresight that we actually have. I don't actually need those tools. Uh, how should we get to this? Maybe I can try digging up here. Uh, see that? Uh, it's maybe here. See the corporate. There you go, boy. You don't need some fancy electronics here anymore for power. Right. And we are just about to be full as well, so this is perfect timing. We still have some materials in it, but we managed to gather most of what we need. Look at that. This looks good. Red lights there. It looked like almost like it's something would be on fire.
but it's not. <laughs> it's my ship, and it's not on fire. It just has fancy light. This is actually quite a calm episode, since you don't have antenna active or beacon or anything of some sort. Oh no, what, 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 what? Uh, ooh. We managed to stop 10 meters before crashing into the ground. Alright, so I guess we need to be careful with full load. Because while I start talking about all kinds of stuff, we might fall out of the sky. Seems you are getting very good with materials. Well, not very good, but decent, I guess. This assembler. Yeah, I don't like my stuff being all around the place. Okay. That's our stuff. Behold our stuff. We even have superconductors from that asset base. It had some modules on the refinery. This will be good if we want to build our own, but it's not required at the moment. 500 computers, 1000 interior plate, we are a bit low on metal grid. Steel plate, we have enough. Battery component, we don't have much power cell. Display, that should be good. Uh, it's ideally I like to have like a thousand of each, but... Eh. Okay, so this is good. We are now recording for roughly three and a half, four hours. I will probably need to make a cut here somewhere because... You know, this is just a relaxed space engineer playthrough, we are not in a hurry anywhere. Hmm. Uh, okay, the AI might be disagree with that, <laughs> but that's our next step. We are we are actually fairly good. I wanted to cover this one a little bit more, like the other one. But the thrusters are okay. We have everything in all direction that we need. We have a vehicle that is stable, and. Uh, we have enough guns, I think, to repel any assert, whatever. We have two Gatling guns here, targeting proportion. We have all our big 
assault cannons or turrets targeting weapons I wanted to check the additional stuff what, what are you my boy what are you targeting nothing much it seems you are in default I think we need a bit more weapon I guess yeah that should be good This one, I think this one was already set, but just to be sure I will check. Oh no, I won't check it here. I've heard it somewhere that I might should be able to set it as power and it will shoot out any reactors and batteries. I find it a bit excessive because if it shoot out the reactors if anything with the reactor would come and we would shoot out the reactors, we will never get the uranium from that, I think. And if anything with uranium in it comes here, I very much want to get my hands on some uranium. Because as we are right now, we are still losing power, not gaining. I might think about repairing this antenna. Just for the sole purpose that uh, we might get some loot from the spawning stuff. But if it gets too crazy, I will switch it off. I'm a bit afraid if. Because when I look in today first, I saw two reavers. <laughs> so they came in, come in pairs. And if they come in pairs, I might not survive that, but that's the spice of life we are willing to live with. These are still well supplied, even though they don't worth much. I might be rather be over prepared a bit than under prepared, so let me see where I can sneak in some additional turrets if I can. Might be able to make like a tower here. able to access this from the top too so let me put just a more cargo container on top of this instead of a conveyor junction Design this fuel for me to be at 5% when you anyway die out in like 2 seconds after that. They never had to save their life and set warnings, I guess. Warnings should come in an ample time so you can actually react to the warning. This amount of guns should be enough. I mean, we have one, two, three, five Gatling guns and three assault cannons. If these are not able to protect us, I'm not sure what will. Um, I wanted to add a decoy though. 
just out of curiosity because these are fairly easy to to add somewhere and then it should act as a as a way to take some of the fire off just out of a Curiosity. I might add the welding arm next to it. I mean under it. And if I pipe this up, it will not only pull our fire from anything essential, whenever it's damaged the welding rod will actually repair it back immediately. For that we actually need to pipe this in somewhere. Luckily for us, we have our junction right here. So I need to weld at, le weld at least this much in and then we will have a self-repairing decoy pulling the fire of the enemy. Everything is green, so now we have enough materials to weld in this one if we need to. I think we need to weld that in. Yeah. I, for some reason, wanted to add a button panel. As well, because I sometimes I might need to switch off the turrets, and I don't wanna lose power by having this weather constantly on. I just add a button for activating the defenses if we need to. One, we can switch low. off all the turrets and switch on the welding block. Yeah, this is good. Let me just add a little bit of covering here. Much, just enough to cover the sides of this. Because if it has a turret on it, it's also a target, <laughs> and I don't want my only large container to be shoot out. Yeah. Alright, so we're good. We have the decoy. We have repairing, self-repairing decoy. Alright, so I think this will be a good place for me to stop recording this episode. And I will need to cut it shorter, obviously. <laughs> this will be 
more of a relaxed episode of building and fixing and correcting some issues on the ship that we had, adding some capability of counter-attack if anything would spawn. The next episode I will build the uh, forklift and I will try to capture the, I mean pull the AI out. So that was all for today. I'm happy that you joined and watched this video. See you in the next one. If you like it, give it a like. Have a nice day. Bye bye.